Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Risen 3 Titan Lords. This is episode 34, and we are going to head inside and, I guess, talk to the mage-type people. Stop. Not another step. Well, eventually. General Magnus asked me. General Magnus asked me to speak to the mages. Oh, yeah? And I'm supposed to believe that. Do I have to get the general down here? Uh, nah. Forget it, I believe you. <laughs> For all I care... Just go in if you want. I do want. Are you this friendly to everyone? You aren't responsible for the Major's safety. No. If anything goes wrong or goes missing, I'm the one who gets it in the neck. Nice. They don't pay me nearly enough for this shit. <gasps> Language. You put your heart and soul into your work. You put your heart and soul into your work. Don't mess with me, all right? I thought being a guardian would make me rich and famous. I'd go out and do some heroic deeds, and everyone in the tavern would love me for it. Indubitably. Instead, I just hang about here. And every once in a while, some cretin comes by cretin? and wants to compete with me. Not cretin? Okay. How about some arm wrestling? I knew it. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? Nope, not really. Not right now. Hmm. But we'll only wrestle once for gold. And the winner takes all. Just so you know, I'm only ever at the tavern until noon. If you want to wrestle later than that, you can forget it. I'm on duty then. On duty. Alright, well, if I ever figure out how to arm wrestle and or throw knives, which I guess is something I'm going to eventually end up having to do, um, I can earn some money. All right. Mage's house. Oh. I hate so-called clean magic. You do Where's seem to hate things. <laughs> There's the fun in that. All right. Well, let's walk around and see what we can find first. I'd really like to explore that cave out to the back side of the. Ooh, good. We can do that right away. Sweet. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, it's closed. Boo. What a wonderful spot for a mass sacrifice. Don't think about it. Well, we can't get in there. That's kind of unfortunate. This dude is always talking about sacrificing things. People, creatures, horses. I don't know. Colon, horse, colon? No, nothing? Alright, let's sit on the stool here. and Just because we can, apparently. Uh, yep, yeah, just kind of taking the load off, ladies and gentlemen. It's fine. Alright, get up. Get up. Stop it. We want to steal the tankard. The tankard. What do we have over on the side? We have a spoon that we can totally pilfer, and a silver decanter. Boy, these mages just have lots of riches laying around, don't they? Ooh, there's a downstairs. Nice. Where does this lead? The seedy underbelly of the, uh, ooh, there's a laboratory over here. I don't think we know any alchemy yet. There's Nurgle. Nurgle, Nurgle! There's a tankard. We did a little roll just to show how agile and lithe we are. Uh, we're gonna ignore Nurgle for now. Ah, oh, Hiwi or Hiwi. What you do here? What? What? What, dude? Scram! Hey, settle I down. I don't want to see your sort anymore. Settle down. We're just gonna casually walk in here. No big deal. Oh, there's some soul lichen. That sounds sexy. Let's take some of that. This is like the greenhouse over here. Some finger leaves. Some spirit flower or five. I don't know. Leaf? Spirit leaf, maybe? It's a candle holder. Heewee's over there doing his Heewee stuff. Ooh, a spell scroll. Wave of energy. Some blade leaf and a drinking horn. What? Ooh, Nurgle's chest. I don't think Nurgle's paying that much attention. I might be able to ninja this. Let's see. Nurgle does seem to be rather distracted. Ooh, Nurgle's pouch of crystals. <laughs> I have plundered Nurgle's chest, and I am a sexy beast for doing so. Let's continue on our little adventure here. I'm sure there's more things we can pilfer. I mean, this is what we do. This is what heroes do, ladies and gentlemen. There's a ladder to nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. And apparently a ladder to somewhere we're going to go down into. Alright, there's a rat over here, and apparently we're still crouched and sneaking. Oh, apparently, uh... I don't have to hold the button. Wow, that makes things so much nicer. Remind me not to hold the button next time. Yeah, I was holding the crouchy thing the whole time. Alright, I'm going to go down to the crystal cavern down here, which does seem to have lots of rats, I guess. 
All right. Um, gotta say, it doesn't look super. Uh oh. Okay. Well, it looks super friendly to me, but I can probably manage to do some stuff here. Not sure why my dude keeps spinning and rolling, but he he does seem to do that a lot. All right. There's a sword thorn. I don't know if I've seen that before. And oh my gosh. Look at this place. Holy cow. That's amazing. I want to live there. Be a little house right in there. Be like, yeah, some soft lighting. I don't mind soft light so much. It's the like real intense bright lights. It just destroys my ocular sockets and orbs. My ocular orbs. Yeah, we'll go with that. What's up, Lami? What's up, buddy? Lami, only looky, looky. Only looky, Lami looky. Skippy to homie. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, what don't you want to give me? What don't you want to give me? My shiny stones. Lamy worked a long time. Lamy looking in hole. Deep hole. Then he fall down. Awkward. Now Lamy here. I understand. So you fell into the well. Mm -hmm. Shall I help you out? Oh no. Lamy must stay down here. Otherwise master see me. Not good. Not good at all. Where is your master? Lamy better keep that to himself. Or homie go to master and cause trouble for Lamy. Right. Well, Lamy, I might kick you in your silver and your shiny stones if you don't watch it. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the things you didn't want to give me. Well, how long have you been down how here, How long have you been down here? Lamy not know. Mulo mulo mondi. Mulo mulo mondi. That's a long time. Yip, yip. I'm not good enough yet. I'm really not that good. Uh, oh, the silver tongue. Okay. So I thought it was like two different things. It's not. It's one singular thing. That's that's fine. Oh, there's a crystal mine here that I somehow missed earlier. Let's go chisel away at that with our really, really manly swing that we do. Also, we kind of impaled our thigh with our sword. That's uh, it's a bit awkward. Kind of off-putting. Not gonna lie, probably not our best move ever. It's, I guess it's fine. Um, Lami's just kind of chilling, huh? Lami's about to lose whatever's in his chest, I can tell you that much. Huh. Lami's gonna lose his voodoo doll, too. There's knife. Uh, what else do we got over here? Some books. Spirit mushroom. Spell scroll, a tankard. What else? Anything? Guess that's really about it. And we can take a saw. Well, I guess there's nothing else we can do about Lami here. Lami doesn't like the homie, or the homie as it were. And apparently this is a well in here. Let's see if we can't see up to the top. Kind of curious. No, oh, we can't look up. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Well, let's get out of here. I guess there's nothing else we can really do. Um, let's leap and climb our way out. We shall make it out. And we shall be heroes that they sing tales about. I, I guess. I, I actually doubt they'll sing tales of our valor, but... I suppose it's possible. Oh, I left click. That's what I do. Alright, so we are back up here in uh, the mage's little Casa de la, de la Mage. It's fine. We're going to walk around and eventually leave. I don't want to see your sort anymore. Alright, let's talk to the little miniature dude. Hey, what's up, Hiwi? Me, Takatini Planta, Grana Planta. Me too. What are you doing? Pronto planter, Maro planter, Wico planter. All right, let's drop the subject. Pronto planter, Mico planter, Uca planter, planta planter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we don't know anything about I'm alchemy. Not an alchemist. Nope, not an alchemist at all. Nurgle. What smells so good? Who? who? What? Matricaria resutita. Matrica. Matri what? Good God. Chamomile. Cretin. Oh. Cretin. What is with this cretin? It's cretin, clearly, guys. So you're an alchemist. Are you interested in some dark mushrooms? 
Dark mushrooms? What are they doing in your pockets? I explicitly forbade you to trade them. I don't don't know you who realize you are. that eating them can cause irreparable damage to the cerebrum? Yes, that's why I want you to take them. Or what kind of damage? What kind of damage? Increasing speech disorder, to name just one. Eh. Impaired perception is another demonstrable result. Demonstrable. Once the decay spreads to the brainstem, well, then that's the end of your digestion, my friend. Yeah. I'll be fine without them. Good. I know where to hide them from prying eyes. Take this gold as a small compensation. Thank you. So, you're an alchemist. So, you're the alchemist. A little louder, please. I'm a bit hard of hearing. I asked if you're the alchemist. That's not any louder at all. Of course I am. I mean, crystals. Poof. The real magic is in plants. Okay. What are you working on right now? You should know that we have multiple climate zones here on Tyrannus. And? Don't interrupt. As I was saying, due to the climatic conditions, a special herb grows here that I've named herb. the Tyrannus Herb. Just imagining what powers could lie hidden in this herb makes my heart flutter. Aren't you However, lucky that I have five of them scarce. already or if more? If only I had five specimens, I could continue with my studies. Indubitably. Why don't you send someone to get you the herbs? I did, but those damn gnomes keep bringing me the wrong herbs. Just recently, one of them brought me a common Coluna vulgaris. I ask you, what am I supposed to do with a Coluna vulgaris? You tell oh. me. Watch your blood pressure. Eh. Where does the Tyrannus herb grow? Look around in the center of the island. There is a river fed by a waterfall. You should be able to find it there. Let nature be your signpost. Well, isn't that nice? I'll get your Tyrannus herb for you. Excellent. Make sure you don't use too much force pulling it out of the soil. You'll receive one of my elixirs Ooh, as a token elixirs. of my gratitude. Here is your Tyrannus herb. Two sugars, please. Your Tyrannus herb. Here. Ah, yes. Excellent. <laughs> Here. You certainly have earned your banana. What, what, now huh? don't disturb me. I need peace and quiet so I can concentrate. I, you, no, no, you didn't say a banana. A banana? You were going to give me the elixir. No, no, no. You asked for a banana, I'm sure. A banana. You've overstepped the mark. Give me the elixir now. Youth. No respect for your elders, have you? Here. Now let me work in peace. Ooh, a tincture of toughness. Recipe for alchemist liquor or something or another. Uh, Doesn't hmm. it get boring down here? B boring? Au contraire. The great art of alchemy is never boring. The study of magical ingredients requires time. And don't you forget it. All right, I understand. I will try not to forget it. Well, show me, show your, me stuff. your stuff. That's fine by me. All right, what are we looking at? Crystal earring, crystal shard. Eh. Huh. Eh. Not really great. A uh, bunch of plants, okay. Then a recipe for shadow elixir. What does that do for me? Plus five cunning, I guess. And for spirit paste. Okay. And then apparently there are some crystal magic spells that we can actually learn here. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Rain of fire. Well, I'm going to walk away from you now, good sir. You're far less no, impressive than no, I was hoping. Yeah, stop talking. Nobody cares about you, buddy. Out of the basement we go, back up around here-ish. Ooh. What is this? An artifactorium? Hmm. 
Mauricio, if you, what's up, yes, buddy? Yes, I know. You're new here, and you want a quick way to learn magic. Sure. Forget it. Magic requires practice and concentration. Oh, well, never if mind, you expect then. quick success, you'll be quick to fail. I'm quick with everything, just about. How do you know that I'll fail? How do you know that I'll fail? Because anyone who goes into battle unprepared is doomed to fail. Being prepared doesn't mean having proved your skills in every tavern on the continent. No. Only discipline, training, and, and self-sacrifice can lead to success. And now... I have other matters to attend to. Oh, aren't you just rude? I want to learn more about crystal magic. I don't have much time, so you'll have to make do with the short version. Crystal magic may appear to be another random form of magic to the uninitiated, yet it is capable of so much more. It contains a power to rival even that of the Titans. That's what I need to do. I need to rival the Titans. How can a few crystals stop Titans? Have you never heard that faith can move mountains? It's similar with crystals, but more practical. It's possible to channel their magic. The sooner we understand their complex structures, the stronger the magical power we can extract from them. Huh. Where do these crystals originate? An interesting, albeit irrelevant question. Perhaps they were a final gift from the gods, given to protect mankind from their doom. Perhaps they simply lay concealed beneath the rock for eons. In the end, all that matters is we've got them. Okay. Sounds to me as if you want to play God. Hmm. The gods have forsaken us, and we have no need for them anymore. These crystals give us power to restore order. They are the key to man's continued survival, and so we shall use them. Thanks. I think I've heard enough for now. Good. I think this little chit chat added to your knowledge. Ooh. Now go back to your chores. I don't really have chores, buddy. What can you teach me? Just ask me. Learn resist magic, really? Flames or ice, plagued or cursed, you don't care. There's nothing you can't deal with. Increases your resist magic level or talent by ten per level. Eh. Not super useful, buddy. Alright, well we're gonna leave. Wink wink. Come on, bones. And uh, once you go back to sleep, we're going to sneak back in and steal your stuff. Bag of gold laying on the ground. A golden goblet that we're going to totally ninja as well. Steal some jade. A spoon! There's a bed over here. And we could even steal from you, buddy. If we really, really wanted to. We could take you and put you in our backpack. Bones, why are you so freaky, man? Stop it. It's a bookshelf Geography here. Geography of the Western Hemisphere. Riveting. Indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> Books on nature cures. Nothing could be more boring. Amen and amen. Don't tell my wife I said that, though. She is all about them nature cures. Boy, let me tell you what. She's like, oh my gosh. If this is a nature cure, I need to have it in my mouth. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess. Most most things you take that are nature cures go in your mouth. I mean, some might go in your ears, your eyes, or God knows where else. Horrible places, probably. But we're going to assume. Huh. Weird how they are different sizes now. I hadn't noticed that before. Oh my goodness. Look at all that stuff. All mine. Oh gosh, there's a person right there too. Holy Various cow. Various compendiums on astral orbits, I see. Nice. We are all about the astral orbits after all Books in this place. Books on physical constitution and the psyche. Oh, I feel sleepy just looking at them. Well, he's definitely not the most educated of individuals, that's for certain. Hello, Faruko. Well, well. A new face here on Tyrannis. Indubitably. Reason for your stay on Tyrannis? Um... I want to become a mage. I want to become a mage. How noble, yet simple-minded. I love you too, buddy. Only a few are capable of working intuitively with magic. But our guardians use an alternative method. Drugs? If you want to be able to command magic 
fulfill the tasks assigned to you by General Magnus. Okay. But let's get on with the procedure. I will document and archive your arrival. Thank you. Every bit of information could be important. Indubitably. Well, if you say so. Uh, why do you need all this information? Sure. Why do you need all this information? There has to be an institution of some sort in this time and age that consolidates the knowledge of all mankind. If Fair. we lose that knowledge, we lose all chance of a future. I don't know Just that. thinking of how much knowledge was lost during the conflict with the Inquisition makes me shudder. Can hmm. you tell me something about the shadows? Hmm. Let me think. It's not the first time that their kind walks this earth. Something is driving them on, but I can't say what it is. All I know for sure is that if they're not stopped, the existence of mankind hangs in the balance. Duh. Thanks to our reactor, we're equipped for the challenge. Reactor? How were the shadows defeated back then? Your perspicacity astonishes Whoa. me. This question is indeed worth considering. I don't think that people back then could have created anything like our reactor. Maybe the demon hunters or the natives will be able to provide the answer. But I wouldn't expect any sensible answers from their hocus pocus. Hocus pocus. All right, can you teach me can things? Can you teach me things? If you give me the necessary small contribution, that should be no problem. I can't teach you any spells, of course. Why? Unless you're one of us. I'm one of you. Or I want to be. Teach me something. Let me see what you can already do. Uh, craft spells. Bind the magic of your spells into, a, into simple items. Each of these items is bestowed with one charge of the spell. Yeah. Well, you're far less impressive than I was expecting. A trivial story. Nobody would give a shit about it now. And your reason for being here is... Um... Don't do anything stupid! Just kind of looking around, guys. I'm not doing anything stupid. I want to talk to... Wiry physique, distinctive facial features, interesting. Sorry, not interested. <laughs> what? No, I didn't mean it like that. Allow me to introduce myself. Ilva, paranormalist and precision engineer. It's in the nature of my profession that I always examine my surroundings very closely. Mm-hmm. What on earth is a paranormalist? An inquisitive student. Most excellent. Thank you. My area of research is other worlds that are invisible to the human eye. I combine the results of my research with my artisan skills to manufacture various oculars. Oh. When you look through one of my oculars, your vision will increase by 500%. That is pretty impressive. So what can your oculars make visible? In layman's terms, they grant you a differentiated look into the astral sphere, That's depending on the terms? prism you use. The knack here is to catch the particular wave band to give you the required result. In layman's terms, right. Hey, hey. Please, excuse me. Is there a dog the behind me? disputes with my brothers here mean I sometimes find it difficult to use a more polite manner of speech. Don't worry about oh, it's it. Oh, no. Okay, um... Dispute. Hmm. I thought you mages stick together. If only you knew. For instance, take this old codger Nurgle. Right. He sits in his cellar all day looking after his plants. But the crystals are the reason we are here on Tyrannus at all. Indubitably. Can you teach me something? We'll see. Learn focus. The world of the dead and the spirits is often closer to you than it seems. Increase your astral vision by ten per level. Well, that doesn't... Mm -hmm. Could you sell me an ocular? Oculars? No. But the prisms you need for them, yes. Only if you join our covenant. Discuss it with General Magnus. Well, Pooh. All right, fine. Let's end the the dealy there. And I'd love to steal a lot of your stuff, but we have a lot of people. Get out of my way, little dude. We have a lot of people blockading our way. Let's go upstairs. See what's up there. A gnome walking around looking at us. What do we have? We have Aramis. 
er er Erasmus. We have who's Where's? this guy? A stool. We have some rum. All sorts of things. Lumbrook. A bench. Aha, Swordmaster. Hmm. Training with the sword was his passion until the end of his days. The magic sheath of his sword was completely worn out. Presumably, he was buried with it in his grave on Kila. Okay. I see. To Kila we go. I don't know. Maybe I already have this. I have no idea. BC. <gasps> oh, you not magic man. No, I'm not. BCC right away. Impressive. You're clever. Impressive. You're clever. Yep. This he bring delivery dinghy. Not always right sorted. Whoa. But with weird. time, I get better. Without help of Gunu, big chaos. Do the mages Do treat the you mages well, good sir? You well. If busy sped at help or magic men smile. I understand. The mages are happy with you if you work hard. Yep, yep. That's why work lots, no blah blah. No blah blah. Master Lumbrock always say speech is silver, violence is gold. Ooh. It's speech is silver, silence is gold. Homie sure? Very sure. <laughs> All right, language lessons. What? Teaching the little gnome to do some gnoming stuff. Ooh, treasure map. Mine. The treasure of the beach of Tyrannus. Ooh, a laboratory. Yeah. Super cool. What do we have over here? Artifactorium thingy. Uh, ooh, a goldsmithy. It belonged to the leader of the expedition that discovered the Fountain of Youth. But he died before he could imbibe the deadly water himself. The vial is said to be buried on Takarigua. Takarigua. Onward to Takarigua. Taka whatever the heck it said. The gnome's just like kind of wandering around just doing gnomey things. He's like, I'm a gnomey homie, what's going on? I'm a gnomey, my homie? I, I don't know. It's fine. All right, we have a couple more folks to talk to. We have some side rooms to go into, which seem to not upset anyone. Well, the fools. Totally ninja that spoon, and that spoon, and that spoon, and that spoon. Tyrannus Volume 4, what? Walking over a stool. There's a bench. There's a spell scroll that we're going to totally... It's useless without oh, the right I'm going to steal the key from... Roko or don't even think about it. I'll I'm notice immediately if you nick something. Chillin' here, dude. I'm not doing anything. What's up, buddy? What's up, Mauricio? Oh, there's stairs up further. Well, I suppose this is a tower after all. BC doing what he do? Huh. Well, we are almost out of time, and we've not really. A Accomplished a whole heck of a lot to be honest um, We have done some stuff, but not all that much to be like I said to be perfectly honest here I Feel as though there's still quite a bit left that we have to do Crystals reactors and Titans no, no. Oh, sorry guys. Just kind of chilling here BC Wait for the gnome to pass by And apparently for BC to pass by as well. Go do some hard work, my friend. Good, nobody sees a valuable casket. We're gonna steal that silver plate. Definitely gonna take these things. Ooh, ancient knowledge. I'm sure we'll figure out what to do with that eventually. Bed. Anything else? Golden bow. Or a bowl, rather. Not a bow, but a bowl. Just standing here. What was that? Casually minding my own business here. No big deal. Alright, let's go take a look at the thing that we just picked up. Inventory loot. Picked up a book of some sort. A valuable casket. Um Diary to train us, blah 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 blah. The secrets of something. No, that's not what I'm... There it is. Crystals, Reactors, and Titans. 
They are mad. A ring of magic crystals to push back the titans, they say. I trusted them in the beginning, but the Thunder Isle is my home. And, uh, home since I discovered it. I am its discoverer. True, I did share it with the gnomes, but they were always peaceful. The peaceful times have gone since the strangers came from the sea. They are hasty and want to build. Didn't wait long. They could throw fire with their hands. That's madness. I sneaked up to their little camp at night. They had built a few wooden huts and spoke all day long of their plans to capture the island. Some of them left again with their ship, only to return with new goods and news. The Titan of Far Faranga, I guess, has been defeated, they said. Another spoke of the research he needed to do. Repeatedly, they mentioned crystals and the great rocks that catch the lightning. Not a good sign. They scare me. I hope they don't find me out here. Well, interesting. All right, let's do... Let's talk to these two and then break off the episode. It looks like we're going to spend another episode inside this place, but eh, so far not bad. Let's see what Lumbrook has to say. What do you want with the mages? I take care of many things that the average soul could never comprehend. It is down to me, and me alone, to make sure our crystal gloves exceed all expectations. Thanks to the gloves, each guardian is able to focus the magic that we mages wield intuitively. Okay. I want to learn how to use the crystal glove. You? No. Only someone who serves the Guardians may receive this honor. Until you've been sworn in, you will be forbidden to use the Crystal Gloves. What do you have to offer? Have a look around. Have a look around. Ooh. A Crystal Needle. Interesting. Uh, potions... I don't know exactly what this potion does, but you can use it to intimidate your opponent more easily. Uh, potion of magic, marksman, lots of potions, and lots of other various things that we might need eventually. Have you got any work for me? I assume you're not offering to restructure our filing system, are you? Maybe. Um, no. Good. Gnomes could do it better than you anyway. But there's one thing you could do for me. The intensive study of magic often makes me hungry. Yeah. And my palate demands delicacies from across the southern seas. If you find any specialities on your journeys, I'd be prepared to buy them from you. Really? And as for your delicacies... Um... Would you like something special on your plate? What kind of question is that? A gourmet like me always eats the most exquisite food. Indubitably. An exquisite cheese, a delicious ham, or some dainty mussels. That is how I prefer to dine. Interesting. Top it off with an aromatic wine. Aromatic wine. Any idea where I might find your specialities? I heard that the demon hunters on Calador serve a delicious ham. Ooh. I also know of a pirate who's a master of brewing. I believe his name is Bruce. Bruce. As for the mussels, you'd best look on Antigua. And the cheese. Well, Zacharias, head of our order, had a unique one delivered recently. Huh. Well, I'll see what, I'll I, can see what find. I can find. Excellent. But don't even think of serving me something common. I don't want to be sick. Uh. Let's see what I've got. An aromatic wine. Hmm. I think something's still missing. Come yeah. back as soon as you've got everything. I don't want to be kept waiting. Fine. Alright, and let's end that. And I guess we'll talk to our buddy over here. Erasmus. What? Oh, are you new here? Well spotted, old man. Uh. Don't give me any cheek. Whoa. Could you assist me, soldier? Or... Uh, Wait a moment, um, what was I saying? Um, I'm happy to help. Greetings, Honorable Mage. Ooh. Greetings, Honorable Mage. Yes, yes, lovely. What was I doing just now? Mm. Oh, yes. How can I help you, young man? I've heard coconut oil is good for your brain. <laughs> Maybe you should try it before something else goes wrong. Coconut oil? <laughs> 
Why don't you put some proper clothes on before you talk to me like that? True. You seem a little confused. Who is the most powerful mage among you? Who is the most powerful mage among you? The Honorable Mage, Zacharias. Right. And where is he? He is with his research subject behind the reactor, on the other side of the Great oh. Canyon in the Northeast. Okay, you seem a little confused. You seem a little confused. Yes, yes, that's true. I'm about to make a breakthrough in my small experiment, but I'm still missing something important. Uh, I just keep getting carried away there. What did you say you want? Uh, where is your experiment? Where is your experiment? The experiment is nowhere, just in my head. It's a... Uh, well, what? No idea. A thought experiment. <laughs> oh my. Right. Yes, you see, I'm trying to determine the amount of energy that our monolith network needs for the reactor. Okay. How do I get to meet Zacharias? He's deeply engrossed in his research. He's most interested in the reactor. He needs its magical energy for his research project. As long as the reactor isn't working again, I fear that he's not going to see anyone. I see. Okay... Reactor? What's that? Oh, do you want to see the reactor? It's my greatest creation to date. Really? Follow me. I'll show you what we have achieved. Ooh, shiny. Well, I wasn't this expecting this. This building and the one on the far side of the canyon form a circular focal point. We call it a reactor, or a magical ring. Ooh, cool. The flows of magical energy converge beneath the bridge between the two buildings. Once the reactor starts running, it disrupts the equilibrium of the elements. The Titans don't like that at all, and they will give Tyrannus a wide berth in order to avoid the flow of energy. Fascinating, isn't it? A little bit. Impressive construction. Indeed. However, we only managed to start up the reactor once, and that was only briefly. We quickly realized that we couldn't keep up the flow of energy for long. We simply need more magical power in order to keep the reactor operational. We need to reinforce the network with suitably large monolith stones. It does sound complicated. Right. Sounds complicated. The lightning monoliths erected on Tyrannus accumulate the island's magical energy. They stand in a most favorable constellation for the energy flux. All we have to do is divert it to the crystals in our reactor. Easy. I see. Uh-huh. What are you waiting for? The monolith stones haven't reached their destination yet. I've been waiting for days to hear news that the stones have been installed. You mean, the stones need to be inserted into the lightning monoliths? Oh. You have been paying attention. But of course! Yes, exactly. About the monolith. Uh, you know what, guys? I think we're gonna... We're gonna break off the episode right here, and in the next episode we will continue to talk with him and see what else we can find out, and hopefully clear the rest of the mages a little dealy and get started doing work for General Magnus, and hopefully become mages ourselves. The way that's going to do it for this episode, guys, I'll see you next time with more Risen 3. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.